Hello everyone, my name is Duncan White. I am the managing editor of the International Fire and Safety Journal. I'm here at Intersecond Dubai and I'm delighted to be joined by John Otterson from Thumbtech. John, always a pleasure to see you again, my friend. Nice to see you, Duncan. And uh, John and I uh, share a passion for quality neckwear and ties. And as you can see, this year we've not let anybody down. John, Thumbtech, trusted brand in the industry. What have you guys been up to? Tell us about some of the products. Oh, wow. I mean, um, obviously, uh, it's, it's all about the change of chemistry now. And uh, we've been very busy over the past 12 months doing more of what we always do, and that is testing, testing, testing. And uh, today, you know, at Intersec, we, we are showcasing our fluorine-free phones, you know, which is the next-gen product. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of interest in, in these products. Obviously, people are concerned and, and they want to make the swap, but not everybody can do that immediately. So, so we're also telling people about the fact that we will be supporting people and customers with the C6 products, enabling a safe transition. So that's really what the talks are going about. New products going forward, supporting with C6 in the transition time. And again, the, the support to your existing clients is uh, so important. They need that reassurance that uh, Funtech are going to be there for them, ready for when they make that transition. Yes. And it's so good to hear about the testing, testing, testing. <laughs> um, we know Fontech are so thorough with their uh, product testing and preparation that when they bring a, a product to market, it does exactly what it says on the pail. So Fontech are, are well known for that. That must give you immense pride. Well, yes. Uh, I mean, we're all about testing and we're, we're testing to the best of our abilities, stretching the limits of what the products can do. We're trying to define the parameters of, of the product's capabilities. And then obviously it's really important that these products can work in the real world, not just inside of the laboratory. So that's why we're, we're scaling up. We're doing a little bit more into the real world applications for larger fires now. We're, that's going forward is what we're going to do. But we're very busy, uh, I can tell you that for sure <laughs> and, and it's great to hear that uh, phone tech goes from strength to strength and you talk about fire using the product in the real world we're seeing now almost on a daily basis some mega fires that are beginning to, to say we saw the huge warehouse fire in russia just a few days ago mm. and like you say having products that you're that the end user can be confident in is part of what that special bond between supplier and customer and what makes it so great. Yes, and I think what really differentiates Fontech towards uh, many other suppliers is that we, we really are um, focused on the holistic approach. You know, the fact that, you know, we're not selling uh, just a concentrate, we're selling a solution, we're selling a holistic approach to the problem because going forwards with these new products, especially, uh, it's got to be based on a holistic approach where, you know, the product is documented to work as a whole system, not just as bits and pieces. Exactly. And any recent developments that you can share with us at this time that Fontech have been working on? Is there anything that we can look forward to seeing coming out in the next year? Oh yes, there's so much interesting going on. I mean, it's not often you have a real breakthrough. We had one in December. We're going to work on that throughout 24, which is going to result in product being launched end of the year, perhaps beginning of next year. Extremely excited about that. We're working, you know, especially now we launched product end of last year, uh, focused on the marine market. You know, the marine market also needs to make this uh, transition. Uh, so we're launching a whole range of products, fluorine free for the marine industry. So that's great news for, for that application. So a real eureka moment at the end of last year when you... Uh... Oh dear. Uh, well, you know, it, it really was something. It's something we've been chasing for about three years. We had, um, you know, what, you know, the, when the chemist said, well, I really didn't expect that, you know, then, then that's, that's when you know you have a breakthrough on your hands. And uh, so that's, that's what we, we're, we have a lot of fire sessions, you know, every year. We had hundreds of fires last year. We're booked in for hundreds of fires this year. And we're now going to build on what we saw in December and which is going to lead us to a breakthrough in, in that particular market segment, which is going to be really good news for a lot of customers. I can guarantee you that. So when can we expect uh, to see the announcement on that? 
Well, I, I think we want to try to start showing some, some of that towards the end of uh, Q2, uh, moving towards approval works in, in Q3 or 4, and then the launch by the end of the year. Uh, and and that, that's only one of them. We had two breakthroughs in December. Wow. Um, I can't talk too much about it, but it involves a lot of airports in the United States um, who needs to do something fairly soon. So, yeah, there's a lot of special things happening in the, Pontic at the moment. The Amer we could spend a whole day chatting about the American airport oh, yeah. situation. And, mm -hmm. and if there is something on the horizon that's going to assist them over there, then that's going to be fabulous. Yeah. And, and you heard it here first, Q2, we can expect a, uh, some, uh, some news from this man. And uh, <laughs> we'll be holding him to that, and I'm sure that uh, it will be delivered. Um, so, what does the future look like for... Uh, for FOMTECH? Well, I mean, we're going to carry on, you know, pushing our mantra, data, not opinion, which is really key. You know, it's the most important uh, uh, for FOMTECH. And we're going to carry on innovating. Um, you know, we're never satisfied. We're going to push the boundaries, increase the scope of our products, introduce new chemistry, enabling a safe transition to foreign free foam. And, you know, that's what's going to keep us busy, you know, carry on testing giving the message and um, uh, bringing a safe position to the to the market and I'm, I'm i'm extremely excited about the future in our industry it's uh, when you talk about john otterson and fomtech in the industry the response you get is uh, there's one of the good guys that's doing the right thing for the right reasons and uh, i can i'm testament to that i've known this man for a long time and uh, his credibility goes before him and it's exciting every time i get a note saying i'm going to speak to him um, but what we did discuss before the interview off camera was next year it's going to be father and son and me talking so we're going to we're going to do a year's preparation and then uh, we'll do for, we'll go for a trio john yeah it's thanks been a pleasure my friend yeah the same take care thank you, thank you.